I've got a video on how to increase your personal storage in No Man's Sky. So let's go to the Galactic map and jump to a new system. As soon as you've walked to the new system, go to the space station. Follow the direction that I'm doing right now. Up the stairs and to the kiosk at the end. You can purchase one upgrade from here, but as you'll notice, it starts getting quite expensive. 70,000 units, 350,000 units, and half a million units. But before we go to the most cost-effective way to upgrade your personal storage space, let's go to the anomaly. As soon as you land in the anomaly, head to the back, head to the kiosk on the far left, Pick up the exosuit upgrade, and like the space station, you get one upgrade per system, and as you can see, the price is starting to increase. So let's head to the teleporter terminal, and return to my base at the small settlement. When you get back to the small settlement base, interact with this kiosk, go to purchase components, and purchase all the drop pod components that you can afford. As you can see, just over 100,000 per coordinate. So when the space station and the anomaly upgrades start costing more than that, it's time to do this. But as you'll notice, you can only buy two at a time. You might be lucky and get more, but on average, it's always two at a time. So make a save and reload your game. After you've reloaded your game, you go back to the kiosk guy. You'll notice it's reset. So let's buy two more. Save and reload the game. You can keep doing this until you've got as many as you need until you run out of units. Okay, I've picked up 28. Let's put down a signal booster. Interact and decipher a drop pod coordinate. Of course, later in the game, you can use the Exocraft to find it, but that requires a lot of upgrading, but will save you a lot of units in the long run. But lack of storage space early game is quite annoying. So you can start with a cheap upgrade at the space station and the anomaly. Use the drop pod coordinates to give you some space so it's less annoying, then finish up with an exocraft. Well that's me at the drop pod coordinates. Check all the boxes lying around. And very importantly, interact with that white chart and save point. This will log that you've been there and nearly every case will stop you from returning there. Let's go and pick up an upgrade from the drop pod. Since a recent update, all you need is antimatter housing, sodium nitrate, and a carbon nanotube. And this is why you should get a personal refiner quite early on. We're going to refine some sodium into sodium nitrate. You need some oxygen and ferrite dust to make the antimatter housing. And of course, you need some carbon for the carbon nanotubes. You'll find all those materials either in the boxes or lying around the area. So have some of the materials on you before you leave and the rest you can farm as you go along. You'll find that one location will have a big batch of sodium and then another will have a big batch of oxygen. Carbon and ferrite dust should not be an issue. Let's get our exosuit upgrade. Big worm. Put down our signal booster. Move on to the next drop pod coordinates. Remember when you land, interact with the boxes, pick up the save point, check the area for some materials that you might need, craft more items if you need to, know that you have to get into a nice little rhythm, but also don't worry about how long it's going to take. For me to grind out 28 upgrades took less than a couple of hours. But there's one thing I did forget to mention that's probably quite important. A plenty launcher fuel, as you're going to be taking off a lot. So either craft or buy quite a lot of that before you head out. Or you can make it as you go. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.